Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, we'll be looking at the controversial issue of whether when Prince Charles becomes king, his wife Camilla will be queen. Under UK law, the wife of a king is automatically styled queen consort. The same is not true for male spouses of queens. However, Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, did become Prince Consort of the United Kingdom. The precedent, however, was not used for Queen Elizabeth's husband, Prince Philip, who was styled since marriage as the Duke of Edinburgh. In 2005, when Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, married divorcee Camilla Parker Bowles, it was announced that upon his succession, Camilla, currently styled the Duchess of Cornwall, would be known as Her Royal Highness, the Princess Consort. This title and style has never before been used in British history. In fact, it is written into UK law that the wife of a king is queen consort, and unless there is a change in legislation upon Charles's accession, Camilla will legally be queen. It is also technically true that Camilla, upon marriage, became the Princess of Wales, a title previously held by Charles's ex-wife and the now deceased Diana, Princess of Wales. Even though Camilla is the Princess of Wales, she chose to style herself after Charles's secondary title, the Duke of Cornwall, making Camilla the Duchess of Cornwall. However, Princess Consort is not a counterpart title to any title held by Charles as Prince of Wales or as future King, therefore would not be legally recognised without there being a change in the law. There are currently no plans for a change in the law to address this. The Prince of Wales website still says it is the intention for Camilla to be styled Princess Consort. However, without that change in law, she will be Queen and the intent cannot be carried out. Some think that this is merely to appease those who would deny Camilla the right to a title held by every other wife of a UK monarch who have gone before her, with the possible exception of Mary II, who was a joint monarch. It is believed that only a day after his succession, with there being no change in the law, that Charles will announce Camilla as his queen. Public outcry or not, this is likely to be the outcome. History often has a habit of repeating itself. In a very similar circumstance, the people of England generally detested Anne Boleyn, who Henry VIII married after having his marriage annulled to his popular, much-loved wife and former queen, Catherine of Aragon. Henry had broken with the Roman Church and caused much unrest within his country to marry Anne for love. It mattered not what public opinion felt for Anne. Liked or not, by English law, she was queen. This is likely to be the same for Camilla. Clarence House and Buckingham Palace could clarify this position by either pushing for a change in the law so that in the event of Queen Elizabeth's death all is ready and in place or take the steps of declaring that Camilla will be known as Queen. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest royal uploads. From me in Shropshire, Goodbye.